that? Ah! Oh God, I will hold on to your nose, Lewis. Oh my God! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is Robbie's Traveler. And today we're going on a mission. A mission to find an animatronic. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Robbie, Robbie you have so many animatronics already. So many. You just did a video where you unboxed ten thousand dollars worth of them. Look, I know, okay, but this one, this one's different. This one is Lewis. My name is Lewis. And that's why I'm going to Target. Guys. He's here. Lewis is secured. Oh god. Okay, it's time to put this guy together. Lewis! Oh, I put together so many animatronics. This should be easy, okay? Worst case scenario, I call up Santa. Christmas isn't for another three months, so I think he's not busy, you know? Last but not least, the try me button. Okay, are you guys ready for Lewis and all of his glory? All right, once I put down his skirt, Lewis, did you mean to expose you, my guy? And plug it in! Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Lewis! I'm so happy you... Oh, I stepped on the try me button. I thought I broke it. I was so scared. Happy Halloween, my little ghoul. I'm a little ghoul! Oh my god, this is beautiful! Oh, I gotta show Tori Dabransky. Oh my gosh, are you ready to see your surprise? Oh, look at him in all of his glory! I love him! Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, should I be jealous? I see all your tricks from way up high. Ooh, you are very tall, Lewis. Tart of brats! I do like tall pumpkin people. I am not a Lewis is very cute. Are you Bobby. ready for me to take him apart? No! More scary? Leave Lewis alone! Lewis. Wow. This is nice. I feel like I should be jealous. Can you give us some room, Robbie? Wow. Like, I need some body time. Okay. You're probably thinking, how the heck are you gonna improve this? This absolutely beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous man. Oh my gosh, so tall and handsome. So one thing I gotta say is he doesn't move. There's literally nothing on this guy that moves. So that's something I think I can do. Lewis absolutely deserves to move. Hey, Lewis, I got you a friend. Just kidding, she's not like a friend. She's more like, um... A donor, an organ donor. Well, a whole skeleton donor. Oh, yes, good old Darling Dolly. They're about the same size. He's a little bit taller. Well, you know, that's fine. Here, let me show you what Darling Dolly can do. That's pretty terrifying, right? So I essentially have to take her apart. Oh, God. So I'm gonna essentially take everything off of this one and then put everything from Lewis onto her. It seems simple enough. I think they'll fit into each other's clothes, right? Dismantling it. Hopefully I don't break it. Oh! He just says this. Here we go. Take your arms out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Boop, boop, boop. It's not so scary now, is she? Oh, I see. Part of it was the sensor that was in her dress, so I gotta cut that out, I guess. That's easy enough. And now the photo sensor is free. Now I basically gotta take apart Lewis and put him onto this scale. I don't think that'll be too hard. Just do the same thing that I did before with the opposite, I suppose. You really skipped leg day, didn't you? So I'm essentially unplugging all these connectors that kind of go A to A, B to B, C to C. Pretty self-explanatory. Just unconnecting all these, and then I'm probably gonna end up reconnecting them when it's on this. It's time to take the rest of your toes off, Lewis. I have a pretty good feeling about this. It's definitely a little snug on him. So the fit seems to fit. <laughs> the fit's fitting. The fit is fitting. The fit fits. If the fit fits, then the fit fits. I'm probably gonna recycle Darling Dolly's arms as well. Oh, they're only zip tied on. Clip that zip tie. Comes right off. It does kind of look spookier with her hands though. Okay, I'm just trying to get a peek in there. Interesting. Here we go. Very nice, very nice. Now for the other arm hole. I pulled the cloth up a little bit and there's like this hunchback thing that takes up a lot of So I think if I take this off, then it should make it easier for him to just go forward. You know what I'm saying? 
So one thing I noticed is when I took the weird round hula hoop thing off, he basically has no girth to it. Like there's no shape. But in the old one, there was still kind of at least a little bit of a shape. So what I think I'm gonna do is take Lewis's little shapely thing off and put it on here so he still at least has shoulders. So lucky for me, it looks like it's just kind of bolted on and I can just take it off with some tools. That came right off, perfect. Now unlucky for me, these are riveted on. And I really don't want to touch any rivets. And I can't just slide it on because it'll stop right there, but I want it on the shoulder. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is cut this section right here. Boobity boo! Ah oh, yes, just what I needed. And that'll just pop right on. Perfect. And that should just slide right on. It also won't hit this pipe when it falls, which, uh, you know, wasn't intended, but I'll work with it, okay? Now I just have to drill in the holes to make this guy stay on. Ah oh, yes, much better. He has some shoulder pads now. Very good, Lewis. And I even used the original screw. I also ended up putting back the original bottom loop that came with Darling Dolly. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna mount his head back on. So I'm looking at this and it's just kind of like a pole and it has a little clip button on the side to keep it in place. And this is what I got. But there is a square pipe that I think if I cut this pipe off, it'll slide perfectly into but it. But unfortunately, Lewis will never be the same again. So. <sighs> I think it's worth it. I really don't want to accidentally cut this little wire off right here, so I'm just gonna take this whole piece off. Boopity boop. There we go. Put that off to the side for now. Hey, Lewis, are you ready for your head? Boom. Wow, guys, look at that. Already such a drastic improvement. Look how much more spooky he is. I also want to take the voice slash control box and put it into the other one as well. Pretty easy, just gotta unscrew this guy. Easy peasy. So the other box, which I'll still be using, uh, is mounted right here on him right so now. So I have to basically just make sure that the speaker is facing forward. And I can kind of mount this anywhere, really. And I'm just zip tying it on with black zip ties. I'm so glad that you guys can see this so well. I'm also using black duct tape on it. Yeah, I think that ought to hold it in place. And I'm gonna basically plug all this in. Oh my god! But you know what? I think that I could make him even scarier. I think I'm gonna start out with his hands and arms. Oh yes, Lewis's arm. It looks like a little chicken wing. So I think the first thing I want to do is remove this black netting because I actually want to use this. Hot glued it on, so I gotta be a little careful. Or just rip it off. That's probably the method I'm gonna use. Put this off to the side for now. And then this, whatever fabric it is, is cool. But I think it would look even better if I wrapped it in burlap. I did that with the Spirit Halloween mask a while ago. I just basically rewrapped it in burlap. But I love how freaking gruesome it looks. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna basically recreate this look. I'm just gonna put this guy right on his arm. Ooh, I can even just shove part of it onto this pole. That'll help a little bit. And we're just gonna hot glue this bad boy on. I'm also gonna cut the burlap out to kind of match his fingers. Okay, now that I got his hands completely covered, now I'm gonna texturize it a little bit with some paint. Oh yes, yeah, some red fabric paint should do great. Oh yeah, it's a little bit of red. And just a tiny, tiny bit of black. I'm just gonna go and mix a little bit of that together. Oh yeah, so that looks nice. Yeah, just paint it on. That's pretty good. Put some fake blood in there. I'm gonna make sure to get some uh, Lewis's fingertips. He has some bloody fingers there, buddy. Almost make it look like he grabbed something and it's bloody. Ooh, there we go. It almost looks like a bloody tree trunk. I think I'm also gonna go in and kind of like maybe distress some of the other stuff. Put a little bit of random black. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that looks so creepy. But you know what would make it look even better? If you said latex, you'd be correct. A little bit of latex to really just put everything in place, make everything look extra gross. I'm also just kind of distressing all the fibers to make it look extra creepy. And then remember our black veil? We're gonna go ahead and put that right back on. I'm just gonna put a little bit more latex on the veil to just keep it on. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. <gasps> no! I spilled so much latex right now. Oh my gosh. I'm also going through the arms and just adding some hot glue to that. And some spray paint to just texturize everything. I think I'm gonna distress a little bit of uh, these guys too. I also got him some rope to put around his waist instead of whatever this is. So I think I'm gonna just distress that a little bit too. But right now I think I'm gonna start working on his face. So my goal is to make this man spooky dookie. And I have a little bit of experience making like uh, spooky fake pumpkins like this. Like Mr. Tory too over here. Isn't he spooky dookie? You're still in your goggles. You did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna go in and cut all this jack-o'-lantern mouth. Oh yes, that's much better. I also kind of wanted to carve out his eyes and his little nose as well, so might as well do that. We now have a proper shell of Lewis. I think the first thing I want to do with his eyes is actually give him proper eyes. And I also want to use this mouth too. So I'm actually taking the Spirit Halloween mask. I'm pretty sure I got it from Spirit Halloween. If not, I got it from Amazon. And I'm gonna cut out the eyes, put them onto Lewis. But I'm also gonna use these realistic looking little plastic eyeballs and put them inside of his eye sockets. I just have to 
carefully cut out this guy's face. Ooh, oh yeah, that's gonna work. I just have to carefully hold this up while it's drying. This is what I want to avoid, holding it up. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. I'm just gonna grab another little chunk of this mask. So I went in and I put the little netting behind it. That way I can just pop the eyes in. Now I just have to go over and do the other one. I wonder if this guy's nose will fit in there. Well, only one way to find out, I guess. Oh! Hashtag nose for Lewis. Oh God, this is hot. Oh God, I will hold on to your nose, Lewis. I'll do it for you. So his eyes and nose turned out pretty horrid. Now it's time to work on his mouth. Just carve a little hand hole for myself right here. Okay, just go ahead and shove that in there. See on the other side, Lewis's teeth. I think that is the move. Now, did I account for the hot glue gun being able to fit? Good, good, perfect. Very good. Oh my gosh. It's funny because I've been at the dentist all day and they've been working on my teeth. I'm working on Lewis's teeth. How the tables have turned. Yep. Just gotta keep going section by section, I guess. And it looks like I don't have any matching ones, but I have the slesh creature teeth. They're definitely way bigger teeth. And I'm just gonna hope for the best, you know? Okay, so the bigger teeth do kind of look a little weird there, but you know, I think that's fine. Maybe I'll add like an extra couple big teeth over here maybe. I have a whole nother one of these masks that I actually did plan on cutting up. Okay, so far Lewis is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna paint all the teeth to kind of match a little bit and then I'm gonna paint all the gums and everything to make it look all blood. Okay guys, and this is how Lewis turned out with his brand new teeth. He's looking absolutely fantastic. Now I'm gonna do what I do best and add latex to this man. And then I'm just gonna put it all over the rest of him. Okay, now we just gotta wait for Lewis to dry for a little bit. And now we just had to put on his head. Ha ha! Guys, I think we're all ready to show the new and improved Lewis and Tori to Brands. But she's a very, very deep sleeper. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely set up Lewis how I want over him. Tori Dobransky while she's sleeping. And then I'll plug everything in and she'll just wake up to her big surprise. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, check it out. I haven't set up the smoke machine in here for you. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Go look at him in all of his glory. <laughs> I don't want to now. But why? Because I'm suspicious, Robbie. <laughs> Even Thomas is sussed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No! No, look at him! <laughs> Isn't that something to wake up to? That is something to wake up to. That's pretty spooky. You're just gonna leave him here? I'm gonna leave him here so you can see him. I'm gonna put him on this side. I'm gonna go work. You up to him. I'm gonna go work on some other stuff now. No, you um, have to move Lewis. I'm not moving Lewis. He's standing here. He lives with us now. POV, ready? Oh my god, what is that? Ah! Ah! I am reborn! Ah! Help me! Okay, stuck in a Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Tori Dobransky. And today, I'm having Tori Dobransky pick out my Halloween costumes. How many can I pick out, Robbie? You can pick out 10 costumes. Let's go. Hey, this is already Robbie. Costume one secured. <gasps> I see some more. So I think I'm gonna go with this Garfield costume. Oh my God, this one screams Robbie to me. He always wears these shirts, but he doesn't have any matching pants. I think I'm also going to get Robbie a Ken outfit. So then we could be Barbie and Ken. <gasps> I might have to pick out 12 costumes. He may have to also be oh, Shrek. Yeah. Because how can you say no to Shrek? You'd be proud of me that I picked out Shrek. <laughs> now time to go check out. Let's go. <gasps> There's Tori Dobransky. Hi, Robbie. Don't look. These are surprises. surprise. Okay. Wait, am I walking home? Yes. Oh, man, not again. She always does this. <laughs> I'm excited to see what costumes you picked out for me this year. I'm excited for you to try them on. I picked out some pretty funny ones, not gonna lie. Which one do you want me to try on first? Um, wait, I already know. I want to start you off with something that you will feel comfortable in. That way it's not just like jarring out of the box. So I got you your own prison outfit. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's such a big change. No, 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 it's not a big change. This is what you normally wear, but this time you're gonna put on pants that match it. Ah! Guys, can you believe this? She literally gave me my outfit that I'm already wearing. I just want you to feel at home. I don't want you to be spooked or anything. I guess it also has a little number on it. Um, So I, I guess it's- And a little hat. Oh, I get a little hat? You get a little hat. 
Oh! Ho ho! Oh, that is way different. I didn't realize you got me two costumes to write a in one. Spirit Halloween branded pants. Wow! And to top it off, Okay. here's your needle hat. <sighs> Do you feel like the new man? No. no. <laughs> Do you feel like the exact same man you were before you put this costume on? I feel a little bit more imprisoned. That's not good. What would you give this costume out of 10, Robbie? Uh, for creativity, I would give this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Completely original. Never seen anything like this costume Okay, before. we'll do a little switcheroon. What am I wearing, Tora Brand? I want you to wear... So this is gonna be <laughs> next costume. I had to get it because I thought it was so cute and I really want to see him in this. My, oh, I was not, ex no, don't look. I wasn't expecting to have him to wear these, so uh, I'm kind of regretting my decisions a little bit, but I think this one will be really funny. Here, Rob, you wanna see your next costume? What is it, what is it? Oh, I always wanted one of these. Now you have it. Let's do a little swoosh around here, come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tori to France. I'm a big buff baby. <laughs> is this good? I don't know if I like it, honestly. You're kind of scary. <laughs> so do you like my little outfit now? Now I'm the prisoner. Mm, hello, my little prisoner. I don't like the fact that you're a giant baby. <laughs> what, do you think I'm hot? God, Robbie, please get up. My first steps. Oh, God! Oh, oh! Okay, out of 10 pacifiers, what would you give this costume? I would give this costume out of 10 pacifiers. It's clearly a 10 out of 10 as well. So far, all 10s, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll go pick out your next costume. Okay, Robbie, are you ready for your next costume? Yes. Here's your next one. Oh! What is it? Oh! I'm about to show some freaking Ken energy, aren't I? Are you ready? Yes. I'm just Ken. Wait, you are Ken. And you're a giant baby. I'm a baby now. I'm gonna go out and actually work out in this. Can you see me running down the street like this? I can. I, I, you are highly invisible running down the street like that. No cars will hit you. What about me, Robbie? Can you see me running down the street in this? Do you wanna go for a jog right now? No, not really. I don't wanna jog. But you're in a giant air-conditioned suit. That is true. I do feel very air-conditioned right now. But I feel like if I go outside, it's just gonna suck up all the hot air <laughs> and make it not air-conditioned anymore. It's gonna be like a giant heat suit. So what would you rate out of 10 Kens? What would you give your outfit, Robbie? It didn't come with a fanny pack, so I'm gonna have to deduct some points from that. That's fair, that's fair. They made you buy it separately. What? Yeah. Boo! Anyway, that's fine. I'm gonna have to give this a 8 out of 10. This might actually be my brand new look. Oh yeah? You rating it lower than the other ones? You have to be fair, you can't just give it a 10 out of 10 every single time. Well, the 10 out of 10 was my everyday look. Okay, want me to pick out your next costume? Yeah. So if you don't know, I love cats, so I decided to take this opportunity to turn my boyfriend into a giant cat. Robbie, do you know what cat you're gonna be? Do you gotta take a guess? Is it Thomas? It is not Thomas, Why? but... Why am I coming, Thomas? Okay, you ready? Throw it at me. Ah! Ah! I wasn't ready to catch anything like that. <laughs> Wait, so I'm gonna be the big lasagna? You are gonna be the big lasagna. Woo! Oh boy, I'm now Garfield. Do you feel hungry for lasagna? I want some lasagna. Robbie, what do you think about Mondays? Oh, I hate Mondays. So how do you like your costume, Robbie? This is beautiful. I think this is actually my everyday look. <laughs> You're just gonna become <laughs> Garfield? I am Garfield. I'll see you later, I gotta go. It's so uh, funny, because when you walk backwards, oh no! I might have second thoughts about everyday look, actually. I'll just help you push your head down. Don't you want to hug this big old cat? No! Get over here. Nuggy, so nuggy, 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 nuggy. You're a pretty cute little emo cat. I bet you get all the Barbies. Okay, I get all the Barbies. What would you rate this costume out of 10 lasagna? Tori, you really know me so well. I just want to give all these a 10. <laughs> so for no misses, all of them are really good. For continuity, I'll give it a nine. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll, I'll accept the nine. How do you feel? I can't see very well. I can only see in the two little eye holes. I don't know if you can, can see me in here. This is the extent of my vision. <laughs> and whenever I do this, the eye holes move, so I'm just kind of getting little pieces. If I do this really fast, I can see so much oh better. God, you're breaking the costume. What? The thing fell off the back. Oh no! Let me explain it! I'm bleeding! No! 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 I smelled it! No! I smelled it, Tori! I smelled it,
Okay, so for the next costume, I went ahead and get and picked another movie costume. But this time, I picked out a Shrek costume for him. Okay, Robbie, you ready? Here's the next costume. Oh, I get to be Shrek! Gonna be Shrek. I gotta be Shrek! Look how freaking handsome that is! Shrek transition! Oh! Oh my gosh! I suddenly have layers! What do you think? Does that make you lasagna, Robbie? Lasagna has layers. <gasps> I love lasagna. No! Are you gonna eat me? No! No, Garfield! No, stop it! I'm an onion, not a lasagna! Ogres are like onions. They stink? Yes. No. Guys, I went a little too hard and I accidentally broke my little ear <gasps> flap. Yeah, it's okay, I can fix it maybe. Good as new. <laughs> it's only falling off a little bit now. <laughs> well, Tori Bransk, what would you rate my costume? I can't barely see your costume. I would give your costume probably a nine out of 10 onions. Ooh. 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 It would get 10 out of 10 if your little ears didn't break immediately. That's fair. What oh is my the next God, costume, Tori Bransk? Pick out one like this. Yeah, pick it out. You got it. I'm not even looking. I can see you, Robbie. <laughs> okay, so for the next costume, I decided to stick with the green theme, and my god, I'm a frog. Cause I feel like they live in swamps, if anything. So, are you ready, Robbie? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh! From one swamp to another! It also has a little face hole, so then you can actually see. Oh my gosh, this is gonna change the game! Oh my gosh, I'm Yoshi! You're, you're a frog, Robbie. Oh. You look like a beautiful tree frog. Bet all the lady frogs are so interested. This really makes me want to go climb a tree right now. I think it would just pop it as soon as you started climbing. <laughs> oh, I look so sad. One of my ears is just pointing down. Out of 10 flies, what would you give this costume? It's a little harder to wear than the other ones, I'm not gonna lie. Visibility is a little bit better though. Yeah, you can actually see <laughs> and breathe fresh air. I'm gonna have to give this uh, probably seven out of 10. Ooh, seven out of 10 flies, it's pretty good. Okay, so the next costume I got is, it kind of goes along with this one as well. I decided to go ahead and try a child's, are you okay, Robbie? You're like gonna take down the wall soon. I'm doing great. I decided to try a child's costume and I got him this one. This is a costume he's been wanting for such a long time and I think he's really going to appreciate this costume. I don't know why, but I feel like frogs would like this. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Hey Robbie, you ready? Uh, what is it? You know what, I'll just put it on. And... Oh, uh, I wonder what I... I'm a pizza! Woo! Sorry to brisk. I've always wanted to be a pizza! Ah, my foot's broken. Robbie. <laughs> this is really a good costume for a brand. I'm glad it fits you. It's always a children's costume. <laughs> out of 10 toppings, what would you give this? Mm, nine out of every 10 Robbies gives this pizza costume a nine out of 10. Woo! This is the next costume. It's a classic Halloween costume. You look really scary, don't you? <laughs> Want to see your next costume? Yes, let me see this costume. <laughs> Five minutes later. It's okay, we've come to an understanding. He's no longer kidnapping me. Now but... he's just holding you like a baby. It's like you guys are dancing. Oh my god, you can do the little Titanic scene with the alien. I'm flying, alien! Family photo! Aww. Look at the camera, alien. Yeah, there you go. Aww. What a good guy. Honestly, 10 out of 10. It has a real functioning pocket. And you can keep your phone in it. Most girl pants don't even have that. But this Halloween costume does. Spirit Halloween, you're really up in your game in costume. Multifunctional? Oh, 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 God. Now, now you're just hugging him. Your feet are backwards now on your body, but that's okay. Yes, I need to work on it. The aliens absorb you. Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm stuck. My ass is in my foot leg. Anyway, what were you saying? He's just chilling, don't worry about him. A little broken now. That's not a good sound. That's fine. Just a little broken, but that, that's I broke okay. it a little bit. Out of 10 cows, what would you give this outfit? Um, honestly, it's a little broken, but I feel like that was kind of um, <laughs> a user error. <laughs> Other than that, honestly, eight and a half cows. Eight and a half cows? Maybe nine and a half. Ooh, nine and a half cows, that's a lot of cows. Why half a cow? What half of a cow, the head half or the butt half? Uh, Important questions. The head half. That's pretty good, pretty good. So for the next costume, I went ahead and picked out one I thought Robbie would actually kind of like. And it's this one. This is one of his favorite uh, characters, just across the board. So I thought that he would look really cute in it and it would match his hair. Oh my God, do you feel at home, Robbie? Yes, we're both aliens now. I mean, you're being abducted by two aliens now. Oh no, you broke it. Oh no, I felt my shoulder pop. Oh no, I'm sorry, alien. This one's not 
having a rough time surviving us. I really like this costume. Look, the ears stick straight up. They're you know? pretty cute. There's no putting these ears down. They look very cute though, Rabbi. Do you like it? This I could be just like an everyday onesie, you know? It really can. I might wear this all the time now. You just become sick. Wow. Out of 10 surfboards, what would you give this? I'm gonna hang 10 on this one. She just knows me so well. I, I thought this one out of all of them would be the one that you liked. I feel like Spirit Halloween is actually like genuinely like up their quality too, right? Mm -hmm. No, it looks so good. I couldn't, um, um, in good faith not pick out this costume because this is probably the original inflatable costume. That may be a spirit animal, but this, this is who he is on the inside. <laughs> oh, I'm Willy Wobbly Inflatable Arm Man. Honestly, Spirit Halloween, you should just pay me to like be out in front of Spirit <laughs> Halloween to do this. Put Spirit Halloween logo on my chest. Come on, come on this way, go on that way. Yeah, come on. Is this your new uncle? He has left the building. <laughs> The world's trying to kill me. It's hard being wacky, wavy, inflatable arm man, isn't it? You look pretty cool, though. This is a really fantastic costume. Out of 10 amazingly great deals, what would you give this? You know what? I'm gonna have to give this one also a 10 out of 10! Dude, we're getting nothing but 10s this time. You know why? We're all great. It also has a pocket! Even Wibbly Wobbly Inflatable Arm Man has a pocket! It's a big pocket. Here, put your hand in. Ooh, if it's my entire hand, it's a pretty good pocket. Step on over. If you come with me, yeah. we can give you all sorts of pockets. Yeah? What type of pockets? You have pocket. You get pockets. I do have pockets! Oh, you get pockets! You get pockets! Come on! Sales! Pockets on sale! Is you ready for your next costume? Yeah. So, for the next costume, I think I picked out one from Ro one of Robbie's not favorite movies, but a movie that he really liked. And he's gonna be Buddy the Elf. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm Peter Pan! I'm never gonna grow up! You're not Peter Pan, you're Buddy the Elf! I'm my favorite Will Ferrell movie! <laughs> I think we need more inflatable wiggly arm man. Just get a team of them. All of us running down the street and these. Out of 10 Christmas presents, what would you give that? I would give this maybe like a seven and a half out of 10. The boots kind of are a little low quality, but you know, I wear $600 boots, so what is that? Why is my toe so flappy? I can't stub my toe against an anvil. I'm gonna drop an anvil on it right now. We're gonna test it, you ready? Drop it on my foot, should I do it? Yeah! I'm not doing it. Why do you only like my pain? Let alone So for the next costume, I picked another movie costume and I decided to go with Willy Wonka. I just think he's cute and I'm excited for the new movie. <laughs> what was that? What? Oh. How do I look? You look like Willy Wonka. Do you feel like Willy Wonka? Yes. Yeah? What does feeling like Willy Wonka mean to you? I'm feeling like I can give away some golden tickets. Can I have one? Here's your golden ticket. <laughs> to work in my factory! What? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Please! I don't want to be an Oompa Loompa! <laughs> I just want a little golden ticket! No! No! You so hard, Willy Wonka. You're getting nothing for Christmas. I don't care. I have a whole chocolate factory. Yeah, but don't you want Christmas presents? Don't I'm telling Santa you're going to get in so much trouble. Ah! It's okay, Willy Wonka. I won't tell Santa. I was just fibbing. Thank you. I was just telling, telling jokes. Thank you. Out of 10 chocolate bars, what do you give this beautiful costume? I think I'm going to give this a seven. Ooh, why a seven? It's pretty good quality, but it didn't come with a shirt. There's no shirt to be seen. Even the hat feels pretty decent quality. It's very fabric. Okay, no, yeah, this is perfect now. I'm raising it to an eight. Ooh, eight out of 10 chocolate bars. So for the next costume, this is actually a costume Robbie has been looking for actively. Originally, he wanted me to like make this for him, but it was just way too hard. So I just decided just to Grab him one of these. It is a child's costume, so there's a chance it might not fit. But are you ready, Robbie? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's a costume, Robbie. It's a costume. Oh, <laughs> it's not nightmare fuel at all. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Oh, 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 oh. Dory, he ate me. Oh, you oh, ate me. Help me. I'm getting stuck in him. Oh, 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 oh,
I am Huggy Wuggy. You are Huggy Wuggy. I thought it was supposed to be him eating me, so it's more like this. Yeah. And my mouth is his mouth. It's oh! You are Huggy Wuggy. I see now. You don't see now. I'm Huggy Wuggy. How do you like me now, little Wonka boy? I like you a lot less hey. than I liked you a little bit ago. You look a little scary. Well, Huggy Wuggy, you want to come to my chocolate factory? Oh, yes. Here you go. This is a fun little costume. I mean, the head is a little lackluster compared to the giant mask that I made. That is true, true. Your head is a lot bigger than this one is. It was a child's costume, but <laughs> that it was the biggest size that they had. Look how short the legs are. And that's how it's supposed to be. Don't don't mind that. Out of ten hugs, I would give it seven wugs. Ooh, that's a lot of wugs. Seven wugs out of the hugs. That's pretty good. Okay, you ready for your final costume? Yes. Okay. It's the final costume. <laughs> Is this how you do it? Oh wait, no, it's the other way, like this? How do the kids do it nowadays? Uh, I don't even know what, like, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay, so for the last costume, this one really just spoke to me. When I looked at it, I saw Robbie. And it's like the Grand Couple's costume. Mm. So, I hope he likes this one. Oh my gosh! I'm thing one. I'm thing two. You're, you're still No, you're I'm thing wuggy? two. You're Huggy Wuggy? <laughs> Huggy Wuggy, I want to be thing two. It says thing one and thing two costume in here, but it only came with one jumpsuit. But it came with two stickers. I can pretend to be thing two. Ah, yes, the classic <laughs> thing one and thing two. This is what they look like in the book, right? I like the hair, but I didn't even need the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to wear this hair? Will that make you feel better? <laughs> you Maybe you? a little bit. Oh, just... I don't know what you would want me to do here. Go. <laughs> on this? Oh, you want me to on top of Huggy Wuggy? <laughs> okay. This is a perfect thing to a costume. There we go. Yeah? Oh, yes. Classic, classic. What would you give your outfit? I would give this out of 10 things. Honestly, I'm going to give it two things. I'm going to only give it two because it only came with one costume. I'm just kidding. I'm probably going to have to give this costume a solid six and a half out of 10. I wish it came with at least one more jumpsuit because I wanted to be thing one and thing two with you. Well, Tori Dabrowski, I think you did a fantastic job picking out all my costumes. Yeah, which one was your favorite? Oh, out of all of them? Out of all of them. Oh my god, I have to look one second. Let me look through all of them really quick. Um, I think it's between these two. Those two are pretty good. The, I think that one's my favorite that I got you. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. I love him, he's so cute. Well, I'm glad you like the costumes I picked out for you. Which one do you guys think I should wear for Halloween? Let me know down in the comments down below and I might just actually wear it. Ooh, drama. If you guys wanna check out Tori Dabransky's video that we actually made over on her channel uh, where I pick out her costume, <gasps> make sure to click the video right here. Click it or Huggy Wuggy and Thing One's gonna haunt your dreams. Ah! No! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And where are we guys? And today, I'm gonna be repainting these cheap Five Nights at Freddy's masks to make them look better. They could definitely use a little bit of work. And I think I'm also gonna try and make them more scary as well. So first up, let's go with Freddy. Okay, good old Freddy. This is an official Five Nights at Freddy's mask, but it could definitely be improved. So what I think I'm gonna do is make him into Nightmare Freddy. I've been trying to do my research and there really aren't a lot of super clear photos of Nightmare Freddy, but I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. So first step of making this into this. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut his whole mouth in half. It is a little bit rough, but you know what? I think uh, I think I can I can make this work. I'm also going to cut the bottom of his jaw. Now he's a toothless Freddy. Not so scary now, is he? Now I know what you're thinking. Robbie, what are you gonna do for his teeth? I actually bought a bunch of these acrylic nails, which are really easy to use for teeth. So looking at Nightmare Freddy, he actually has two rows of teeth, but there's only one thing for me to really put this on. So I was thinking, how can I make him have two rows of teeth? I decided to eat some lunch and think about it, and then I was just staring at the answer. A pie tin. I'm so glad I ate lunch before this, because otherwise I wouldn't have this pie tin. I'm basically gonna cut the pie tin and then glue it to the inside of the mouth. Now it'll fold in a little bit. Okay. Okay, maybe cut this part off. That fits pretty nicely, actually. So now I just have to kind of form fit it a little bit and then glue it in place. I'm also gonna leave kind of like a little bit of this showing because it kind of looks like metallic gums and I kind of dig that. Dang, Freddy, you got some grills. You're bare grills. <laughs> 
I have to make sure that the hot glue gun isn't too hot because I know that this plastic mask is probably gonna freaking melt. Oh yeah, it's already starting to melt. Got to be really careful. Okay, yeah, that's kind of promising. I'm actually gonna curve it in a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think that'll work. Then I'm also gonna do the same thing to the bottom piece. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Look at his new grills. I'm gonna see if I can get these nails to stick. I'm gonna do that by grabbing a little X-Acto knife. I'm just kind of making a little incision. And, oh yeah, I think that'll do. That's perfect. So now that I know that that's gonna work, I'm gonna start painting these teeth. That should be more than enough, hopefully. Now it's time to paint these guys. I got this fun white acrylic paint, and I think it's gonna be perfect for it. It's just a very shiny white. That is if I can even get it to stick onto this nail. Okay, those are all painted white. Now I'm gonna go in with some red paint. And I'm gonna take this really, really coarse brush, make little tiny red dots at the bottom to kind of like match how it looks in the video game. And I just gotta do that with all of them. So these turned out pretty good. I think they're all ready for me to start putting them inside of his face. Hmm, boobity boop. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue it into place on the bottom. And then we go on to the next one. One tooth at a time. Two litty two. Now I'm just gonna do that with his entire bottom row of teeth. And then I'm gonna do the inside row. The bottom jaw with the teeth is now complete. Ooh, this is looking pretty good so far. Now I just have to do the same thing with the top. Ho oh, ho, I'm liking this so far. Oh yes, and we are done with that part. That looks quite terrifying, not gonna lie. So there's a few more improvements I'm noticing that I could do on Nightmare Freddy. Another thing is his ears are kind of held on by like a spring, and he also has some like metallic pieces peeking out of his face. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut his ear off, round that out a little bit, and then eventually I think I'm gonna use one of these springs to make it so that his ear is just kinda out like that. Boing. I think I'll do his ears right now. Then I carefully hot glue these bad boys on. Now I just gotta reattach him to his head. So he's looking pretty good with his big old goofy ears. But I think the next thing I'm gonna do is fully paint in his eyes and then maybe give him some like scary like metal battle damage. You know what I'm saying? Might try and glue some of these on I think. Looks like he has a couple like big gouges in his eye, like coming out of his eye. So maybe try something like that. Just gonna form fit it. I think I also kind of want to use this like around his eyes. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm liking how that's looking so far. I think I'm gonna go in and uh, blacken the eyes. That way he doesn't have any of the white. Oh yes, that looks about 60% more spooky, I'd have to say. Now that that's done, I'm gonna insert his weird metal eye things. So I added some more of the pie tin to his face to kind of make it look like some metal was popping out. Now I think I'm gonna attempt to try and attach his uh, his head to the lower part of his head. I think I don't want the back of his mouth showing through. So I'm probably gonna use a little bit more of this pie tin and just glue that together and maybe use like a little spring to reinforce it. Hopefully that works. If not, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. It's not bad so far. Honestly, the bottom of the jaw, very terrifying. So far, I think I'm doing a pretty good job on this. I'm gonna carefully put this together. Wow, that's pretty freaking scary, not gonna lie. Ah oh, yes, no one will know that this is a pie tin, except for you guys, because I told you guys. And maybe people who look at this and are like, is that a pie tin? Basically, I think that should cover everyone, but there's another thing I wanted to do, and that is give this guy some fur. My friend Allie made a video where she made an entire piano velvet, and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. So what she did was she put like an adhesive on the piano, and then use something called flocking. Now, I tried to buy all the right stuff, okay? I bought the flocking, which is like the, the powdery um, fur stuff. I bought the flocking gun. I even bought the suede undercoat. But when I opened this up, I noticed it said cardinal, and this is actually red paint. I can't really use red, I need brown, because he's a... He's a brown bear. So, what I did was, I tried just using some brown acrylic paint on this piece of Freddy's mouth, and then I started using the flocking on it, and it looks like everything seems to stay on. It's a little powdery, but like, I think it'll be good enough. So I'm gonna go in and uh, paint all this brown, and then I'm gonna flock it. And then, we'll have a nice, soft, brown, fuzzy bear. Gonna go ahead and mask this off really quick. Go ahead and paint him up. Now we're gonna try flocking this guy. 
Ah, oh, yes, and this is how it turned out. I'm gonna carefully unmask it. Hopefully it doesn't mess up everything I just did. Okay, yeah, that's turning out pretty good. I think it's gonna be a lot better once it dries. So right now it's a little clumpy. It doesn't look super, super great, but he is a very disheveled bear, so it's fine. I'll properly learn how to flock at one point, and uh, you know, <laughs> I'll do this correct, but it doesn't have to look great right now. Next, I think I'm gonna start doing the darker brown part. So it's looking a little thin, so I'm actually going in and adding another layer of paint to what I just felted. That way, it's extra thick, you know what I mean? It's just, when you feel it, it's really felt. <laughs> you're really gonna feel this felt. <laughs> you're gonna feel this felt like you've never felt it before. <laughs> Anyway, he's gonna do this and then flock it again. We're gonna felt it, we're gonna flock it, and we're gonna felt it. <laughs> That's looking pretty solid. There's a couple places I could definitely touch up, like here. And also, his nose ended up becoming the same color as his head. I think I'm just gonna paint the nose and see how it turns out if you just paint onto felt. I'm hoping it still just turns out like felt, you know? I just don't have the correct color in airbrush. Otherwise, I would use an airbrush for this. Because I know you can airbrush felt and it turns out okay. Okay, but I don't know how it would turn out if you painted felt. So we're about to find out. And yeah, that's turning out pretty fantastic. Now I think the last thing I really gotta do is this little top hat, which shouldn't be hard, you know? It's just all black. But I do have to mask everything off that I don't want to become black. I'm also wearing a mask the entire time that I'm doing this because I really don't wanna get uh, all this stuff in my lungs. And he's looking absolutely fantastically terrible. I love it. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more blood and details in the teeth. For this, I'm just gonna use my hands and just, you know, make it look like he's really just gotten in there and just mauled somebody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's pretty scary. No! Okay, I kinda like that actually. I messed up at first, but you know, I fixed it. As Bob Ross once said, there are no accidents, only happy mistakes. Happy little accidents, happy little trees. Let's do a little blood splatters, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that looks pretty dang good. I'm also gonna add a little bit of bloody scab, or as I like to call it, Lingaberry jam. Just add that jam right into his, just jam that jam into his mouth. He's gonna love this jam. He's like, mmm, this will go great with honey. Honey and jam. I'm gonna put all this jam on my toast. See, Freddy isn't that scary of a guy, see? He's just a, he's a little frazzled frazzle bear, you know what I'm saying? That is looking absolutely frightening. And I think the last thing I'm gonna do is add these glowing eyes. Don't mind me, Freddy, I'm just giving you sight, my boy. I'm giving you sentience and sight and maybe a little bit of peace of mind. Who knows? I don't know who I'm giving peace of mind, but definitely not myself. This is terrifying. Oh yeah, st just stick those eyes right on in there. How are we looking? Oh my God, that is horrid. <laughs> Holy crap, I am very impressed with myself with this one. Now let's turn on the lights. We got some glowing Freddy Frazbear eyes. And now I think that this mask is complete. Look how crazy of a transformation that was. Now that's what I call a Halloween mask. Ah oh, yes, up next is Mr. Blue Bonnie. There's definitely a lot of improvement that can be done here. His teeth, definitely. Also, his ears, they need to be long, but not too long, and floppy. And then I have to make the entire thing very scary, like Nightmare Bonnie, which I think I can do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with what I did last time and just cut his mouth parts out. Oh yes, that ought to do it. Next, I think I'm gonna lop off his ears. Looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna take some of this foam and cut him out some ears. So I just have to figure out what would be the appropriate size for these ears. They actually close up like this. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go and take these metal zip ties, which I didn't even know was a thing, and just kind of uh, shove them up through the foam. I'm hoping that works really nicely. Shove it up through the next one. Boom, easy. That's looking about right. And it's fairly rigid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put these on some parchment paper. And my goal is to eventually paint these. So I'm gonna try and put a little bit of latex on them because I don't think if I put paint on it, it would really stick to the foam very well. And this will sort of fix a lot of the texture problems that I wanna fix. Now I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm gonna start working on this guy's mouth and teeth. And I think I'm gonna do it really similar to how I did Freddy's.
Ah, oh, yes, it's really coming together. Now I just have to put it together. <laughs> Okay, this is looking pretty freaking good. Now I'm gonna take the ears and somehow attach them to his head. I'm thinking it's something like this. I'm just gonna glue the zip tie in place on the back and that should do it. Oh yeah, it's all clamped down. Hot glue this bad boy. Boing, 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 boing. Oh yeah, those are definitely on there now. And just like I did with Freddy, I'm gonna darken out his eyes and then we're all ready to start flocking this guy. I'm just gonna use the Sharpie. I don't even have to use a paintbrush, really. And now I'm all ready to flock this guy. Wow. I only did half the mask just so you could see what it looks like, but this is what it looks like before I put the felt on, and this is what it looks like after. It's pretty crazy. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do the other half now. Now I just have to do the inside of this guy's ears. I think I'm also gonna paint his little snout with this metallic purple paint, just to make it sort of match the ears a little bit. Okay, so now I have to give him some battle damage. So for this, I think I'm gonna start drawing where I want just like giant chunks of his face being taken out. Now I'm gonna go in and start drilling out all these little details. There we go, he has a nice good chunk missing. Now I just gotta do that with all the other ones. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, that looks much more distressed. I almost think I don't even need to like replace it, but I think I'm gonna go in and add some like metal to some of the missing bits. I accidentally took way more off than I intended right here. The, the Dremel just went whoop and all of it came off. But other than that, like it's turning out pretty good. My goal is to have it end up looking like this. As you can see, there's already a little bit of metal kind of peeking through from where the pie tin is. And uh, that's kind of like the vibe I'm gonna go with for this. Oh uh, yes, that turned out pretty good. Might go in and kind of scratch it up a little bit. Ugh, that sound hurts my teeth. Uh. Now I just gotta do the same thing with the rest of it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do almost like the exact same thing, but I'm just gonna shove it in in some of the parts where I can't get to the other side. Okay, and this is how all of them turned out. I really like this method a lot more than the method that I did with Freddy where I just kind of took them and then glued them on. This just adds so much more texture and detail. And it doesn't show up super crazy on camera, but if I were to change something, I'd also maybe put a little bit of latex in the bloody part of Freddy's teeth. So I think I might do that for Bonnie here. I think I'm also gonna take maybe some of this paint and uh, add like some rust marks, but I'm also gonna mix that with some latex so it has a little bit of a thickening agent in it. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in and add just a little tiny bit. I might even just use my fingers. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, yes. Ah, 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 ah! I'm just kind of dipping my fingers in, and just kind of rubbing my hands where his teeth are. And I'm gonna put an extra bloody hole where all the metal things kind of come together. It's just a bloody, bloody hole. <laughs> Maybe go in and add some little details, and that should do it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but add some rust spots. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Ooh, that looks rusty. Let's try that. I'm gonna use my finger to try and just smear it in. A little bit of paintbrush. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Just add that to a couple little spots. Wow, this turned out way, way better than the last one. And now the last thing to do is to add his eyeballs. Boom! Look at that. I am thoroughly impressed with myself. Look at all those details, and it really looks like it's an animatronic come to life that you just, you know, had to fight off, and now it just has battle damage. You know what I'm saying? This thing is so spooky. Wow. So yeah, guys, this is how they turned out. Oh my gosh. Very, very spooky. I am very impressed with myself, not gonna lie. I definitely think I progressively got better from Freddy to Bonnie, just in general. Pretty fantastic. Now I know what you're thinking. Robbie, can you actually wear them still? And uh, we're about to find out. I'm definitely not gonna be able to see into it, but uh, you know, that's fine. Okay, and uh, this is the best I can wear it. It looks very weird from the side, I'm sure. I don't know how it looks when you wear it. I'm sure it looks very terrifying. Ah! Yeah? Pretty spooky? What, what about Bonnie? Oh God. The eyes are literally poking me in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I got felt in my mouth. Well, guys, I was going to do Chica as well, but I didn't have the time this week, and I really wanted to give you guys this video. So if you guys want me to do even more FNAF masks, let me know down in the comments down below and give this video a big old thumbs up. That way I know you guys liked it. Hey, guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And you guys seem to love the video where I repainted the cheap Five Nights at Freddy Spirit Halloween mask. So today, I'm going to take an animatronic and turn it into Freddy Frazbear. And after looking over my giant collection of animatronics, I think that uh, Monty here would be the best choice. So he's just a little monkey standing on a box, and he's just clapping his cymbals, and he laughs, and he has some glowing eyes. Pretty basic animatronic, and now we're going to take him apart and figure out how we're going to make him into Freddy's. <laughs> He is now very, very bare bones. Ah, oh, yes. For the most part, this is what animatronics look like without their clothes on. Dang, you really skipped leg day, didn't you? So after taking him apart and seeing how he works, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is... Oh, hi, Robin! Toby, what do you want? I just wanted to tell you about my new album! That's cool, Toby, but I'm kind of busy right now. Can you, like, go hang out in the attic or something? Fine! I'll go in the attic! Thank you, Toby. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is modify his skeleton a little bit to uh, make him more Freddy Frazbear shape. Meanwhile, in the attic. Oh! At least I can work on my album now! What are you supposed to be, a talking apple? What are you? Well, I'm the man who's gonna change your life. All you gotta do is say my name three times and I'll get them out of here. What's your name? Well, let me tell you that. Beetlejuice? Yes, yes, now say it two more times. Oh, I need a second to think about Come on, it's just right there. You know, we can really get along, you and me. Uh... Meanwhile... Now, I think I'm gonna start building up his legs and stuff using pool noodle and also maybe a little bit of thong. This is the first time I'm ever doing something like this, so uh, bear with me, guys. It'll probably fit right on his leg, honestly. Slide this right on. Oh, wow, that slides on so easy. Wow, so far, so good. I like it. Well, I'm at it. I might as well do the other side, you know? Before I get too far, I kind of want to put his feet on. So our boy Freddy, he has some major uh, cankle action going on. So I'm just gonna go and take this foam and cut it into these shapes. Now I'm gonna take some duct tape and kind of start shaping it a little bit. Okay, so the foam on the body is looking pretty good. Now it's time for me to start on the arm. But first I need to take the symbols off of this guy's hands. They're out of your hands now. Well, not yet, I have to unscrew them. There we go, now it's out of your hands. Just go ahead and take this old one off. Then we're gonna grab a pool noodle. This way it matches the thickness that we want. Boobity boop, and look at that, perfect. Okay, now the foam is complete. Where'd those scissors I was using go? Hey, Toby. Oh uh, yeah, what's up? So what do you think about my plan to steal all his scissors? <laughs> I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea! And if I know Robbie, he'll be all right! Where are my scissors? You take them! These ones are my fiskers and they're more expensive than normal scissors! I could wear! I wish you would have taken the much cheaper pair instead! As I scroll in the darkness this craft of me, some curious hacks died to be seen. Everything went according to plan, but I couldn't find scissors to cut paper hands. So I creeped and I crawled into Robbie's tonight and took all his scissors. Now his scissors are mine! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's a good thing I always have a spare in my back pocket. Now time to add the felt. So like we've been doing, I kind of want to start from the bottom and then work our way back to the top. First, we have to work on this guy's feet. Freddy has three toes, so what I think I'm going to do is uh, put a little notch between these two and then put fur all over it so it looks like he has three little toes. <laughs> Yeah, so far, I'm liking how the leg is looking. For his uh, joint parts where metal is exposed, I'm gonna use uh, the silver metal duct tape that I got from Walmart. Now I just have to do his other leg and the rest of his entire body. I'm pretty lazy, so I ended up just using these uh, safety pins to hold the fabric onto the animatronic. But you know what? I think it looks good enough from the front, so uh, we're just gonna continue with this. I never understood why Freddy's wearing a diaper, but you know, 
I made it in there anyway. <laughs> I ended up taking the top of the animatronic off, that way I can make a little hole in the fabric. And I think I'm gonna keep it off for now until I'm done with his diaper, and then I'll work my way up to his body. Okay, and this is how the body turned out. Just don't look at the backside. The backside looks really, really bad. Ah, yes, he's already starting to look like Freddy Frazbear, and I haven't even done anything. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is take off his hair. So now that we have a basic monkey man, I think I'm gonna take some of his facial features and move them around to make him look more like Freddy Fazbear. I think I'm gonna start by taking off this ear and moving it up here. So the ear is officially detached. Doesn't he look like Freddy Fazbear already? <laughs> Beautiful, great, fantastic. Now I'm gonna do the other ear. Okay, both the ears are successfully taken off. I'm gonna take some of these metal zip ties and sort of just bend them. Yeah, that's pretty solid. And I just have to mount this. I'm just gonna use my classic hot glue gun for this. Something like this should do okay. I'm gonna go and do the other ear. And now our ears are secured to the zip ties, which is fantastic. So this is how we're aiming for it to end up. Just bend the zip ties like this, and then just hot glue it straight to his head. And luckily he has this giant gaping hole where his ear was, so I can use a clamp to hold his ear off. Oh, uh, yes, that's pretty good. Now we just got glue. That's looking about accurate to me. Next, I think I'm gonna go in and build up some of his muzzle right here. His nose kind of like protrudes right here, so I think I'm just gonna use some duct tape and uh, polyfill or something to build it up. About this much should do. Just gonna grab my duct tape. Just gonna shape it as well as I can. I genuinely don't know how well this is gonna turn out. Yeah, the nose is looking a little bit more bear-shaped. He also has kind of like bigger cheeks, so I'm gonna build up the sides of his face a little bit more as well. So now I'm gonna go in and meticulously cover this head in fur. I'm gonna try and do a little bit better of a job with the head than the body. I'm gonna use a hot glue gun to glue the felt on. Hopefully that uh, helps it look a little better, you know? Carefully. Stick it on, now the other side. Aha, uh -huh, I have done it. Now I have to cut the bottom of the jaw so that this fabric's a little bit shorter. Okay, bottom of the jaw is complete. Whew, okay, now that the jaw is done, now I just have to do the entire rest of the head. Uh, that doesn't look like a piece of head. Nightmare. This guy's being really annoying. Uh, intro number three! What's the prob, dog? We need to go get that Beetlejuice. Oh, let's get him, bro. And suddenly, to my surprise, I saw some masks. They were monster masks. But they were more than masks. They were singing masks. This. I have to get back to finishing this animatronic, so uh, here you are. Uh, All right, oh, I'm going on my lunch. <sighs> Come on, Toby, we got some words. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
let's do this. Okay, I did his face and, you know, I had some creases here, but it doesn't really look too bad. He's looking pretty good so far. Next, I'm gonna do his ears really quick. Just gotta outline where I wanna put his nose. Doesn't look right. <laughs> Okay, I think that'll do. Now I gotta do his actual little black nose. And I think for that, I'm gonna use this ball pit ball and just like cut it down a little bit. Boom. I'm gonna paint this guy black. No colors anymore. I want to bring that black. Now we're just gonna go in and glue this guy on. Okay, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Wow. I did also notice that Freddy has kind of like black eyeshadow around his eyes. So I'm gonna go in and do that really quick. I think just using a little Sharpie should honestly do the trick. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh yes, that is much better. And I could technically just draw on his eyebrows, but I think I'm gonna take the original fur that was on this guy and cut it into the shape of eyebrows. But I'm also probably gonna have to trim it a little bit. Boop. Then we're just gonna cut them into the shape of eyebrows. I just have to remember that they're sisters, not twins. Before I put on his head, I'm gonna add this one patch of fur on his chest. Okay, we're in the home stretch, guys. Now I just gotta add his head and a couple little things. Oh yeah, this is creepy. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. Give Freddy a little bow tie. Maybe I should just hot glue it on. So he has his little bow tie. Now we just gotta give him a hat. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> wow! Look at that! This actually ended up turning out kind of spectacular, not gonna lie. I mean, don't look at it from the back at all. Uh, I only really had three days to make this, so I did what I, I could with what I had, you know? If I had more time, I'm sure I could make him look even better, but all things considered, this turned out fantastic. Are you guys ready to see how he looks when he's activated? Uh, let's check it out. Oh... Wow! I'm actually really happy with this. Look at that. I can't believe I made a real-life Freddy Fazbear animatronic. If you liked it, make sure to give a big ol' thumbs up and listen to this part right down there. Tell me what animatronics you guys think I should make next, and I might just do it in the next video. Hey, hey Robbie, you doing okay? Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my hallway. And today we're gonna be trying some spooky DIY TikTok and five minute craft Halloween decor. Let's check out the first one. Ah, yes, it's time to hollow out a little pumpkin. Wow, that is interesting. So we're gonna grab our orange knife to cut our orange pumpkin. There we go. Just gonna go in and hollow them out. Oh yeah, it's nice and hollowed out. Ooh, I'm gonna save these seeds, maybe make a little snack later. Now let's make the face. They just kinda did like a little mouth, like a little round pukey mouth like this. And then they did like eyes. They just, it looks like they just drew the eyes on with a Sharpie, which is fine, cause that's what I got. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I just go in and cut out his mouth. Okay, oh yes, get that out of there. He's like, put his little head back on. Okay, now to make the mixture for the pumpkin. I'm gonna grab two different cups, and in one cup, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of vinegar. And in the other cup, we're gonna put some baking soda. In our vinegar cup, I'm gonna go ahead and put some green food coloring, as well as some dish soap. Okay, now we take our vinegar mixture and just pour it right in, you ready? Three, two, what? Look at him go. He's really puking up a storm, isn't he? Not gonna lie, this looks pretty cool. Poor guy. Well guys, I guess it's the perfect time to regret the thumbnail. I'm 
sorry you guys can't even see this really. It's just so clear. I gotta tell you, it doesn't look fantastic, but it'll do, you know? Then we're gonna grab our googly eyes. I think for this one, I'm gonna go with some yellow maybe. Booty boop. A little yellow googly eye action. Boom. Okay, now I just wait for this hot glue to cool down. One eternity later. Okay, the hot glue has solidified. Oh, wow, that came off so easy. And here is our ghost. Ooh. Little, little wacky, wavy, wibbly, wobbly eyes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but uh, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay, so this one's pretty simple. I just need a trash bag. And we fold it into a corner like this, into a little triangle, boy. And then we cut the triangle. So it folds like that, and you fold it again. And then I guess they, they cut part of it? I think they just cut long strips like this. Might have messed up. Oh my god, okay. I'm just gonna unfold it and see what it looks like. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, sure, that kind of looks like spider webs. And I'm gonna have to say that it's probably good enough. So I'm gonna have to say that this one works, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this now. <laughs> oh no, <a> spider web! <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need some cardboard, a roll of tape, some zip ties, a hole puncher, a sharpie, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we grab our cardboard and our tape, draw a couple circles, then we cut the circles out, and then we grab our hole puncher and do four legs on one side and four legs on the other. Now we grab our zip ties and start zip tying them on, I guess. And this is how it looks so far. I just gotta cut off the legs a little bit. Yeah, that looks kind of even. Yeah, I don't I don't think so, actually. It's okay. I think they're supposed to be kind of out a little bit. So we're like out like that. So here we go. Here's our spider thing. I like how it bounces. Okay, then we're gonna get a boba straw and then apparently I can just blow on it and it'll go forward, you ready? Okay, that's not working. Can these little kids just blow harder than I can? I flatten the legs a little more, maybe that'll do it. Okay, one thing I noticed is they did use a smaller straw where I was using a boba straw, so maybe that's the difference. have lungs of steel, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that whatever she did, that was trickery, and this actually doesn't work. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some candles, a tray that I can put the candles in, and some hot water. Okay, so we just put them in like so, and then we put the hot water in. I'm hoping that it being boiling isn't bad. Um, please don't melt together. Oh my gosh, oh boy, they're melting together. Get away from each other, get away. Maybe boiling water wasn't the move. This feels so weird. Now I'm just gonna get some parchment paper and grab one of our candles. Now theoretically, the candle, oh my gosh, this is so hot. This is like burning. You can slowly twist them, I guess. Ooh, it's actually bending. My goal is to make a, a loop-de-loop. Oh my God, I just put my fingers in the other one to grab another candle to work on another candle. It's very hot still. I'm gonna put this back into the hot water and then work on our next one. This one, I think I'm gonna bend it here. And I'm gonna make it do a little a little side bend, yeah? Just making this one into kind of like an S, I guess. And then it looked like they kind of smoothed theirs out a little bit. Wow, that turned out pretty good. I like that. It's like a little snake. I'm gonna work on this one a little bit. I'll do like zigzags. Some crazy zigzag guys. Ooh, that's fun. My hands are so covered in wax. Get off! Wow, okay, that turned out pretty good. So just to review, this is what we started out with. I never really made it to a full loopy loop around. I'm gonna try to make this one a full loop around. Oh, I 
that's actually bending in half. Yes, we got a full loop-de-loop -loop and it didn't break. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let these cool down a little bit and then uh, we'll try them out, I guess. One hour later. And this is how they ended up turning out. Not bad, we got some windy ones. These ended up looking very similar. I meant for them to look different, uh, so we'll just ignore that one. And then we got the full spinny one. Uh, that one turned out pretty cool. We got a full swirl. Now we're gonna take our Sharpie and we just draw little faces on them. I think they used a paintbrush so it looks a little better, but you know what, it's fine. I think uh, this is pretty cute. Same thing with this guy, a little happy face, yeah. Look how happy he is. He's just swirling around, little ghost candle boy. Okay, now I don't really have like a candle holder, but I do have this bottle that I bought from the dollar store and they fit in fine. They fit in perfect. He's my new friend, you see? He's a little ghost guy. We have another one here. Boom. Now I just gotta do is light it. Woo! There we go. And look at him. He's just living life. He's a little candle boy. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works and it brings my life full of joy. Look at that. Look at this guy. <laughs> On to the next craft. So this one's pretty easy, guys. All we need is some tiki torches and a skull. So we just have to go and get a Sharpie. Then we just need to mark down where we need to cut on the skull. That way we can just fit the tiki torch right in there. Oh yeah, so that looks pretty good. Actually, it looks kind of off. That's definitely off center a little bit. <laughs> Ah yes, now time to cut this skull open. I was originally gonna try and use this carpet cutter, but I feel like it would be a little dangerous because my other plan was to use this Dremel. Oh, don't need that anymore. Looking good. Now we're gonna see if it fits inside the hole. Oh, it's a little tight, but I think we can make it squeeze in there. Aha, it works. Look at that. We have a skull tiki torch now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this candle inside of it. Hey Google. Turn off everything. It's a little bit dim, but you know what? It kinda, it works, you know? I probably wanna put um, a little bit brighter of a tea light, but I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I don't even know if you can see me right now, it's kinda dark. Anyway, on to the next craft. Okay, uh, yeah, just gotta get rid of his dumb little string really quick. Just gonna grab a little screwdriver and take out the screws in the back of his head. We all have screws in the back of our head. And honestly, there's a good chunk of them with a, a few of them loose, and that's okay. Boop, boop, boop. Carefully remove his string. Boop. Place the back of his skull and just put it back on like nothing ever happened. There you go, buckaroo, you didn't see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by boiling our water. So now we're just gonna put our candle inside of the hot water. And eventually our candle will melt. I should have probably taken the top off. Ah yes, it's now a perfect golden brown brew. I forgot what kind of candle this is, but it smells absolutely fantastic. Now we reinsert our new stringless skeleton dude, and we're gonna insert another string right here. I'm just gonna have our skeleton man hold it in between his teeth. Thank you for holding that, you're doing a great job. Now it's time to carefully pour our candle wax into the skull mug. Oh boy, I hope I don't mess this up. I'm gonna wrap it in a paper towel, that way I don't burn myself. Now I need to carefully pour it into his little tub. Oh! It's working! Yes! Oh, that's perfect! Now I just have to wait for this to solidify and then we'll have ourselves a brand new skull candle. One hour later. Okay guys, it's been like an hour and the wax is still very hot. So I think what I'm gonna do is put him on this rotating platform. This will probably help it cool off a little faster. And here he is, our little guy in his little skull hot tub. This turned out really cool, not gonna lie. I kind of want my own skull hot tub now. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys think I should make um, a real life-size hot tub that looks like this, and I might just do it. Anyway, it's time for us to light his little candle. He's just singing a little happy birthday song. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Now he has to try and blow it out. 
Well, unfortunately, he has no lungs, so he can't do it. But other than that, I'm going to have to say that this absolutely works. So the first thing we're gonna need is a baby head. Look at him. Oh wow, he's been through a lot. Then we're gonna need some cheesecloth and I'm gonna put some parchment paper down. That way I don't mess up my desk. Put down our baby head. Then I guess we just start forming the cheesecloth to the baby head. Now I'm gonna grab some spray adhesive. They said starch, but I'm sure this will be fine. Worst case scenario, you know, it just sticks to the baby head forever. And, you know, I never get this baby head back. I'm gonna use a pencil to kind of push it down because I don't want to get the stuff on my hands. You can't really even tell that this looks like a baby head anymore. Well, I guess I just have to wait for this to dry now. And then uh, I take the baby head out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I let this dry for a little bit. We're gonna see if we can take this apart without losing the shape of the baby head. Now I'm gonna carefully take him off. I don't think this is gonna work very well. Yeah, I guess you could actually see the baby head outline, so that's cool. Now I'm gonna need a frame, uh, so I grab this this one with this photo of me and the intern. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Uh, but you know what I do need? I need a framed baby head! Oh yes, this looks fantastic. And now I have a framed baby head. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right on my desk, right there. It looks good. This way it really haunts me and makes sure that I work. You know, it's always staring at me. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. I had my doubts at first, but you know, I shouldn't have doubted five minute crafts. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a trash can. Trash can acquired. And then the next thing I'm gonna need is a couple of volunteers. Oh, 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 yeah. oh yes, you two boys should do perfectly. Come with me. Oh yes, now let's do a little bit of a swap a -roo. Wow, they are all swapped over. Basically, I put the clothes from this mannequin onto the skeleton and uh... Boy, is that a vibe or what? Okay, so we got this guy all settled. Now we have to work on the trash can and the whole fountain aspect thing. Okay, now I'm gonna take some paint and we're just gonna paint on some slime marks. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna slime it up real good. Before I get too far with this, I also wanna write toxic on the middle. I'm gonna make a stencil and the way I'm gonna do that is I just found this photo online of toxic waste and then I put a piece of paper over my computer screen and then I just go in and outline the toxic waste. I might turn off my light so it's a little easier to see. There we go. Oh, you can definitely see that now. Can I just go in and trace everything? Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Now I'm gonna go in and cut everything out. Now we grab our barrel, slap on our stencil, go ahead and tape it on, and then we just spray paint this bad boy. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. So now that we're done with the toxic sign, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back to painting the green slime. There we go. And this is a mission success, I would say. Now, I just gotta focus on putting the pump in the back. So I basically need to just cut a hole that will fit the extension cord and the tube. Oh yes, I think something like that should do it. Just a tiny little hole that I can fit both of them through. Go ahead and throw in our pump. Then we're gonna guide it through the hole. Boopity boop. And that is done. Now we're gonna take this guy and fix him to the trash can. Now I just have to guide the tube up through the skeleton. Okay, now we're gonna make the mixture that he's gonna be throwing up. So I got some water here. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of food dye. And then I'm gonna grab a highlighter, just like the guy said. Boopity boop. It just pops right off. I'm just gonna, oh God. Yeah, just squeeze the highlighter. It's like one of those yellow peppers that you get it in and out, you know what I'm talking about? Then we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. I also bought a little black light that we're gonna put in the barrel uh, that will light up this mixture that we just made. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it. Oh, 
I'm also gonna zip tie a little bag on top of it. That way it doesn't get wet. Okay, now we're gonna add our fluid. It really looks like this guy's going through a pretty hard time. So let me just uh, fix him up a little bit really quick. Plug in our black light. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Now let's hope our pump works, because if it doesn't, um, I'm gonna have to go get another pump. Oh, oh boy! Oh god, 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 oh It works a little too well. <laughs> This uh, was not pointed down, so it, um, oh my god, that got everywhere. Okay, I'll try this again. Oh, you don't look so good, Robbie. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad. Just gonna have me puking outside of my house. Guys, this turned out absolutely fantastic, and uh, I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. Hey, hey Robbie, you doing okay? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give a big ol' thumbs up. Let's about this fight right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys wanna watch me do even more fun, spooky DIY Halloween crafts and stuff, uh, I have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. Okay guys, love you so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending? Okay, bye!